Last time. Next. What have you done? Yeah, well, I mean, we don't know. We, we, we got spoiled. Let's go. I'm at the top of the competition. If I'm not at the top, I'm like the top two. Okay. I'm not afraid of anything that Guys, could come at me. Congratulations. You're watching it. For Season it five, five episode of four, oh. MasterChef live exclusive. Unfortunately, Gordon, uh, little Gordon has um, fallen. Astrid sick. is gone. Astrid the is, is, is going to be fine. Okay. And but, um, sadly, he's going to be I no longer part of this competition. Stephanie? Yeah, that means we are now down to 18 talented home cooks. If you're looking to dominate the field, now is a good time to start with this upcoming mystery box challenge. It's time to find out what's under those mystery boxes. Please be careful because it's live. Oh. On the count of three, carefully keep your fingers back. Oh, One. I'm Two. guessing, is it a snake? Is it a snapping turtle? I don't want to get what? my hand cut off. Two. Three. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's right, a net full of live seafood plugged straight from the ocean. In those nets, you have crab, lobster, clams, phenomenal scallops, oysters, spot prawns, mussels, and a bit of seaweed. Now, all of you, peel back your nets. Francis, what's the matter with you? Sorry, Chef. <laughs> oh, my God! Everything's real fresh. Maybe a little too ah, fresh. Me, Chef, in the way. Sorry. Excited now? Yeah. Yes. No. Yes, yes, yes. Good. You'll also have the use of a limited pantry of amazing ingredients to complement that stunning seafood. There's nothing more important for a chef than to know how to work with live seafood. The margin of error on cooking these ingredients is very, very small. Now, you'll each have 60 minutes to turn those stunning, incredible, fresh ingredients into an amazing seafood dish. Win Ch this challenge, How rare? you can come into the pantry where you'll get a huge Either advantage. That restaurants that are like medium have Is actual yes, fresh yes. Your 60 seafood. minutes starts now. Like actually fresh, very rare, right? Whoa, buddy, they're kicking, man. <laughs> the most intimidating mystery box Ever. Ever. Oh, whoa. When has somebody oh, had no, live scallops in their fridge? When have they had spot ponds kicking around? This is something that I think that is sucks. so foreign to them. As chefs, what would you do with this mystery box? Um, do you know what? I'd use all those heads, the spot prawns. Chef, shells, the crab, Jeff, you, you could be going to restaurants that are like fresh food, for, uh, like very commonly, and never actually have fresh food. Lobster. Fresh and make a and you never know what it is. seafood stew. For me, I would stick to one ingredient. Three scallops, but three different ways. Bacon wrapped, poached, and I would do seared and basted in yeah. butter. So we're going to see who can really rise up the level today. Because we've seen restaurants in, in, in Japan, videos, the guys go, go every morning at like 4 a.m. Francis to the, to the, to the market, You're and they server, buy stuff so at what the kind water. Of restaurant do you work in? In a southern low country style with okay. European influences. So just a little bit of inspiration there, but I want to put a little bit of myself in there too. What do you make of I got some Middle Eastern spices going. So smoked paprika, nice. turmeric, tandoori spice, the uh, crab broth, the stock that I cooked with the clams and Alan's mussels. character. You know, this is what we want to Francis. see. Francis. Okay. Hopefully it'll, it'll come together. Well, good luck. All right. Christian, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, Chef. So just think of all of New Orleans watching you mm -hmm. absolutely nail this dish tonight. Yeah, what are you chef, doing? I am doing shrimp and grits. What's the secret behind Christian's like and grits? The sauce. You can't eat shrimp and grits without a great sauce. How are you going to elevate those grits? How are you going to lift them to I a mean, degree? you got to throw a little cream in there, throw a little cheddar cheese in there, top it off with a little bell pepper. Right. Good mm -hmm. luck. Thank you. Just over 30 minutes left. I am making... Shrimp. I'm gonna put them on top of a mushroom ragu. I have never worked with live seafood before, so hopefully it turns out all right. Okay, I don't like this character either. I'm sorry. She run Francis. Maybe should. Maybe they should date. Hi, Ron. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. What are you uh, going with? I'm making a spicy Asian style seafood stew. What shellfish? I see some fish heads. Oh, I, for this, I'm going to use scallops, crab, Born. and shrimp. Now, you're the youngest competitor that we've ever had. Yes. And you're also somebody that we haven't seen 
show themselves, yes, really. Yes, I definitely am reaching for the top on this one. Who is the strongest cook in the kitchen right now? The person who's really proved themselves to be an amazing cook is Willie. Like, from our side, True. we see Courtney as being kind of a front runner. You don't agree with that? Honestly, it's Hi, just in a the little bit of favoritism with her. You're saying that we're favoring no, her? No, I think that... That's exactly what you said. She, she hasn't really shown much no, 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 no. don't step back. You said we favoring her? Yes. I Why do. would we favor her? I don't know. That's, that's, don't eat this. Oh, dude. High heels were made for the kitchen, and it, it, historically, dude, you're you're working with boiling water in high heels. You trip, you you drop your water on, on your stomach, and you're cook. gone, man. Forty-five minutes gone. Fifteen minutes to go. It's a mystery box. We're yeah. looking to, for the best three dishes. At this point, who's really standing out? Uh, for me, um, I like the sound of Christian's uh, shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And Courtney's stock and the broth taste delicious. Really? Yeah. Courtney's ahead of the pack again, huh? With Christian. You know, for me, it's a run. I think that the complexity, the flavors, and the use of all the different shellfish mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Francis B is a very, very profound fish stock. Wow. The technique was perfect, flavor was perfect. Really, really good. Jim. Last two. Minutes Ooh, this, this, this didn't look too bad. Looks okay. Come on. Finishing touches. Everything on that plate needs to have a reason. Clean those plates. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Ooh. six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Well done. Great job. After observing and tasting throughout the challenge, the judges now take one final look to identify three standout dishes. The winner of this challenge will then be in control of the elimination test. Right, the first dish we'd like to take a much closer look at was done with integrity. The base was a phenomenal broth. I deserve to be up there in the top three. My dish is perfect. And I'm looking Sorry, around what is and nothing it? else looks restaurant quality. They took full use like a of that yard. bounty of seafood magic in that net. I think that my food is better than Courtney's. I want to show that, you know, I'm a good cook too. Like, my dish is amazing. It's beautiful. It looks elegant. And I deserve to be here. Please okay, up. step forward. I'll run. Dude, we're watching the show, bro. The top 18 home cooks in America have been tested with a mystery box full of live seafood. Whoa. And now, Whoa. after one hour of cook time, and stop. the Is judges why I don't will name the recaps? top Is three dishes. We things that they haven't shown sometimes. A net tonight of the it. freshest seafood available. It's almost like a chef's dream. The first dish we'd like to take a much closer look at. Please step forward. Uh, Francis B, well done. Francis. Let's go. My top five is Having my name called Francis, again Francis. as one of the top dishes is awesome. I'm feeling really proud, and I am really proud of my dish. So I'm showing the other competitors, they, they got to watch out. Thanks, chefs. Talk me through the dish. So I have a spicy seafood broth that I cooked down with the, the blue crab. Mussels and clams. Uh, I'm not I use chorizo oil to sear the scallops. Visually, it looks like it's come out of one of the top bistros in the country. Talk to me about the base of the broth. I tossed the blue crab in a tandoori spice, turmeric, and I cooked the shellfish down in sake. The broth looks Here's like a the puree. Thing. You've now the temperature on the scallops. Clams beautifully done. Then you've got the sake, which is Japanese, with a tandoori spice influence at the beginning, Middle East creeping in. Normally, I'd call this fusion confusion, but this is fusion at its best. Uh, wow, does it punch a flavor. Pretty good job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Damn, that's a lot of compliments. So this is the most, certainly the most restauranty dish that we saw today. Like it was live behind it. Sure, man. And this ability to season so aggressively, where'd you learn how to do that? Uh, my dad loves to use a lot of spices. He used to live in Morocco. And my mom lived in Italy, Rome, for eight years. So oh, I feel like it. I grew up that's with a lot it. of good foods. You hit the nail on the head. This is like Morocco meets Rome in a plate. Great. You use the crabs, smart. I think that you're really firing on all cylinders with this. Francis is one to watch, guys. Good job. Cheers, thanks. Good job, Francis. Good job, Francis. It's delicious. Good oh, job, wow. man. For cheering him on. The next dish that we would like to examine further really highlighted the flavors and the personality of Aron. this person as a home cook. Please step forward. Aran. Yeah, okay. Good job, Aron. Aron. I'm surprised.
surprised. She's the youngest competitor here, and I'm interested to see what she puts on a plate. I want to know what I'm up against. OK. So Ron, tell me, what's the dish? This is a spicy seafood stew with bok choy, shrimp, clams, scallops, and rice. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Thank you. Like, really beautiful. The rice in the middle, the way it's all strewn about, it just it makes sense. Ram got thinner, the so glass aromatic. got thicker. The spices that are in there, just layered and complexity, beautiful. Thank you. You know, it's like all these different harmonies going together. You made like a seafood boy band. <laughs> Great. So, good job. Thank you so much. So, Aran, you didn't seem that intimidated handling all that seafood. Watching you, it was almost like you were sort of in your comfort zone. It's like a flavor profile that I remember my mm -hmm. mom making. So I tried to go off of that. You know, it's delicious. Thank you. Underneath that little sweetie pie, look, uh, you can cook. Thank lady. you. That has the base of possibly one of the best dishes you've ever had. Uh, great job. <laughs> well done. Well, well done. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. The third dish that we want to take a closer look at, all of its components seem perfect. The For flavors, sure. the technique. The finished product take me straight to the great city of New Orleans. Yeah, you know Christian, you 100%. Step forward, Christian. Christian. Wow. They really freaking called me. Now y'all know I got a little flavor. Now you know I'm one person that don't need to be reckoned with. Describe your dish. Today I prepared for you guys okay. a New Orleans Creole barbecue shrimp with grits, lemon zest. I put a little cream in there, a little cheddar cheese, and bell pepper. This looks like a very homey dish, you know? It has a lot of flavor, it's very punchy. Mm -hmm. It succeeds in being both rich but light at the same time. Okay. Being around my mom and definitely being in the city of New Orleans has taught me so much on creativity and just cooking from within. This is the type of dishes I definitely cook for my fiance and also my family. It really oh. tells the story of where you're from. And I think that you put a little bit of New Orleans in the plate. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Christian, um, yes, sir. there's something quite magical watching you work. You seem to work twice as fast as anybody else. You put so much energy into it. Um, oh. Grits don't look that good on a plate. You managed to make them look games. glossy, smart. Mm. The dish is good, uh, let me tell you. It may sound plain, but it tastes delicious. Thank Shrimp, you. just the way you cook them was brilliant. But the sauce, for me, lifts it. That's the bit that's a bit like you. Fiery. Good job. Thank well you. Done. Good job. Oh, See, he doesn't win that one. Yeah, Francis wins this 100%. Uh, wow. Tonight, three stunning seafood dishes. Uh, well done, Francis B. Aran. Christian, in a league of your own, there can only be one winner. I want this Friends. so badly. Winning this will show the other competitors that I'm not just the youngest one here. I'm one of the best ones here as well. That individual? will join us shortly in the pantry and receive a big, big advantage in the next stage Guys, of the competition. Guys, come on, Francis, we're right sure now, here. it's time for me to show the world that, Christian, you're meant to be here, and having an advantage will give me the opportunity to knock on some of the competition that I have. The person who cooked the best seafood dish and will get that huge advantage in that upcoming elimination challenge. The name of the game right now is just to stay on top. Seeing the other two dishes, I'm confident, and I know I'm going to win this thing. That dish was cooked by... Congratulations. Francis. Wow. Tonight, three stunning seafood dishes. Uh, well done, Francis B. Aran. Christian, great job. There can only be one winner. The person who cooked the best seafood dish. And we'll get that huge Not advantage. Not Aran, no shot. Congratulations. Francis. Aran. What? Yay! I'm literally in shock. Like, now I know that people are definitely watching out for me, and they realize that, you know, I could be the wild card here. Maybe I'm the one who really has a ton of tricks up her sleeve. Uh, young lady, uh, you may be the youngest in the competition, but by means, uh, one of the most feared. Uh, Thank you. Are you ready to come to the pantry? I have a yes, bit chef. of a pet peeve with people Great that call themselves well either the wild yeah. card or the uh, underdog. Uh, I feel like Absolutely. some of the people call you, well and you are, but you don't say it. It's just kind of weird. Welcome to the Master wow. Pantry.
The winner of the mystery box is now in control of the elimination test, where at least one person will leave the competition. Uh, first of all, congratulations. You are the youngest contestant ever in this entire competition to be in the pantry. Well done. Thank you so much. So this pantry is where the competition can be won or lost. And right now, you, my friend, are in the driver's seat. The theme of tonight's elimination challenge is the delicious sweet treats. First off, Again? is something delicious that millions of people start their day with. Perfectly baked, golden, brown, muffins. Muffin. Okay. Wow. You can have so many different flavors. You need to get the crunch on the top with the soft baked Jack, deliciousness Jack, underneath. Please remember, please, everybody take note, take note, this is a muffin. Okay? Next up, muffin. one of the most popular sweets not, eaten not in America. Cupcake. Everyone loves them. And they go great with a glass of milk. Delicious cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh. In oh this jar, God. there are a dozen perfect, delicious cookies. Everyone knows how to make a cookie, but few know how to nail them perfectly. I love cookies. Finally, okay. I'm about to show you one of the country's most favorite treats. There are thousands of stores across America that sell these. Perfectly fried and delicious. Eggs. All American, oh, and like beautiful. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> look at them. Wow. They can be glazed, filled, have different flavors. Those look the wicked. sky's the limit. As long as they're delicious and perfectly cooked. Yes, chef. So, Aran, because you won the mystery box challenge, you are safe from elimination. No shot, those are made by hand. You will not have to cook tonight. Thank you so much. But you will be choosing which of these three sweet treats everyone else will have to bake. So, Aran, who do you want to take out the competition first? Honestly, I want to take Courtney out of the competition. Why? Maybe because I go to high school and I deal with a lot of fake bitches all the time. I just, I can sense something from her and I don't like it very much. Do you think you could take her out? I definitely think I could take Courtney out. Jesus! Um, so, Aran, which of these three items are you going to choose for everyone out there Donuts to cook? Donuts for sure. It's a tough technique. Here. I'll choose... Donuts. I'll choose Donuts. I think donuts have a lot of techniques and different, different uh, Back in the pantry, things you need to know. Iran got some huge advantages. The first advantage is that Iran does not have to cook in this elimination challenge. And for her second advantage, Iran got to choose what everyone out here has to cook tonight to save yourselves from elimination. Uh, You're gonna love this one. Are boring. Iran chose donuts. Yeah, yeah, donuts, baby. <laughs> Content. <laughs> A dozen beautiful, delicious donuts. Right. Donuts. I'm like, damn it. Donuts are tasty. They're good. But it's so technical. Oh, I mean, if you perfect. kill that yeast, you're screwed. You know, that's the end of the game right there. Tonight, we want to see 12 stunning what donuts the fuck? served perfect. in a box. Right, Aran? Yes, chef. Donuts are not easy. You have to get those toppings and fillings just right. They have to be beautiful, but also perfectly flavored. Okay, you have 90 minutes to make us one box of 12 incredible donuts. For at least one of you, this will be your final challenge in the MasterChef kitchen. Is everyone ready? Yes, yes sir! sir. Yeah, yeah. Your 90 minutes start. Now. now. Chat. Maple syrup. And maple donuts? Where's Insane. Shortening? Over here. Coconut. Uh, the last I time love I made syrup. donuts, never. Sugar, anybody seen the sugar? I don't like maple syrup like stuff, like but crazy. donuts? Every ingredient under the sun. And immediately think 12 flavors. It's go big or go bigger. Uh, it's severe. Hey, you gonna donut? No shot. Donuts, never underestimate that dough. I mean, it is absolutely difficult to nail. You've got to scald the milk. There's an enzyme in there that'll actually destroy the yeast, and you need that dough to almost double in volume. Once you've combined those ingredients, you cannot adjust after that. Once the dough is done, it's done. So who's gonna be eliminated and it's being decided now yeah. as right they now. mix these yeah. ingredients? First 10 minutes. I want a Dunkin'. Yeah, maybe we'll have uh, Dunkin's pretty good, here. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling a little bit of pressure right now. Been in the bottom two before, and it sucks. I do not want to be there again. Oh, that's good. Looking good. Krispy Kreme. Is anybody? I'm screwed. No, no. 
I'm remaking my dough because I forgot to add eggs to it. I have to start over all over right now. And I don't have any yeast. No. Elise, did you grab any extra yeast? No, I'm sorry. I only got the two. Francis Biondi, did you grab any extra yeast? No. Do you have any extra yeast? One Pe packet, two packets? Dude, I don't see any. I'm basically shouting down the line to anybody that might have yeast, and no one will give me anything. Did you grab any extra yeast? Nope. Even if I had yeast, it's highly unlikely that I'd give it to Courtney. Do you have any extra yeast? No, no more yeast. I see Courtney Sorry. running around Sorry. like a fool, and all I can really think is, my plan's working. Goodbye, Courtney. Do you have any extra yeast? Sorry, honey. Um, I'm Is anybody here? I'm screwed. They, they better not. Beyond the... Did you grab any extra yeast? No. Do you have any extra yeast? You cannot make donuts without yeast. Right now, I'm screwed. Did you grab any extra yeast? Nope. I might as well just turn around and walk out the door. Do you have any extra yeast? No, no more yeast. Okay, Francis. What? You have the whole kitchen in here. Do you have any extra yeast? <gasps> no, no. Thank you. Honestly, Francis, what the hell? You just messed with my plan right now. No kissing Scottish Francis. <laughs> I'm so grateful. You better guys. 35 minutes gone, 55 minutes to go. That's not right. It's not going too well. These donuts did not rise like I thought they would. God, I hope these work. Oh, I look uh, around uh, and everyone's wait, wait. risen. Mine are Why is it going so flat. fast? They look it like, was like shit. Tires. First thing I think of is like, let's roll these into a ball and at least they'll fry. Everybody must have their donuts rising. You should now start cooking your donuts and finish them off with stunning flavors. That's what we're looking for. Kira, how are you feeling? Terrible. Terrible, why? I forgot to melt my shorting in with my We need Timbits! Seriously, that's the basics. No the issue shot. now, maybe you should dry, so then maybe adapt your filling. Yeah. We're looking for a master chef. Yeah, not someone that flakes under pressure. I know. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Chat, Tim Morton has these Timbits that are called, um, Birthday cake? Oh my Francis. god, it's so fun. Yes, What's going on? I have 12 flavors. I have a pina colada, I have three chocolate, I have a oh stout my with god. prosciutto and maple syrup. You know we're only gonna taste one donut, right? Yes, yeah, chef. Are we gonna see 12 perfect donuts? Yes, yeah, chef. Hope so. All right, Francis B. Chef. It looks like a bomb has gone off on here. Where no. are the donuts? Uh, they're right here, Chef. I'm trying to make them look as pretty as possible. Donuts? They look like meatballs. They're my take on the donut hole, I guess. <laughs> it's it's in it's That's bad. just extra dough from what I cut. But what have you done? Right, how do we come back from this? I know I have the flavors, Chef. Don't give up. I won't. Okay, focus. Won't. Let's good, go. good. Come on. Guys, guys, let's be honest, Chef, guys. Come on, roast them, dude. Discourage them. Come on. Hope my chocolate will reconstitute back. Tell them it's dog There's shit. always a chance of going home. It's so all or nothing, right? Right, Leslie, how are you doing? Unbelievably well. Why are you so confident about these? Oh, uh, because they look good. They, they look do really look nice. How are you going to decorate these last two? Same like this. Little macadamia crust going down on there. Where did he come up with these ideas? I, I think I may have done this in another life. You are definitely uh, yeah. a donut. Ten minutes to go. Good luck. I'm a donut. Love it. Ah, uh, this guy. Why is this still a whole summer? So, we asked for a box, 12 donuts. I'm seriously worried about Scottish Francis. I mean, why would Francis be making 12 different flavors? He's right. thinking about the aesthetics first, as opposed to nailing a stunning toe. What? Did Kira forget an ingredient? She added her shortening later, so she didn't mix it properly. Boo! Ah! Leslie, it's been the big <laughs> shock of the night. They look like they've just come out ah. of the best no. donut store in the country. I, I <laughs> promise you, I kid you not. Francis B, on the other hand, is in disarray. We've got these donut balls in half the size of his box. So we're going to be rolling around crazy. His are going to look shocking. Uh-huh. 88 minutes gone. Ooh, nice. let, let us Two see. I'm watching. Minutes. 12 stunning. Donuts to keep you in the competition. What flavor you on, Francis what is L? That? A new one. A new one. <laughs> Tidy up your boxes. Ten. All their frosting nine, is terrible. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Close your box. Three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Well done. Woo! If you're gonna well glaze, glaze. If you're gonna job. frost, well frost, done. bitch. Amazing. Okay, uh, listen carefully, Aran. You now have one more huge advantage. <laughs> you get to 
come down off the balcony and take a walk through the kitchen. You will then select a box of donuts and take that home cook up to the balcony, safe in tonight's dreaded elimination. Wow. <laughs> so, Aran, please come down and look at those donuts. So if Aran doesn't save me, I'm going home. That's what's happening. So I'm just praying she saves me. I need to be really strategic and really think out who I'm going to save. Well, I didn't bother looking at the donuts. I know that I can either save someone that I genuinely like as a person and I want to keep around, or I can save someone that I think might be going home and I want to save them because I think I can beat them in the end. I'm just thinking in my head, man, don't Only... save Francis B. He is serious competition. Let him go down. My heart's racing. Don't. I'm just hoping that Iran feels really bad for me and saves me so I can live one more day. No. It's fascinating. Chef, the person I'm going to save today is. Don't, don't say Francis. Francis B. Then it's so boring. So, Francis B. So boring. No. Nope. You have dodged the biggest bullet in this competition so far. Um, Iran, take the box. Dude. And Francis Dude. B. Up to the balcony, please. I want I'm this gonna, competition. I'm gonna say, this guy's been boring since the beginning. We're about to get an ounce of content saved. To really be amongst the best home cooks. So when I win MasterChef, I know that I did it through beating the strongest chefs rather than the weakest ones. Francis B, how are you feeling right now? I am very relieved, and I know I owe Iran big time. Okay. Okay. First up, come on, Courtney. Let's go. If you forget the most important ingredient for donuts, then you're kind of stupid and you should go home. Okay. I want to get that girl out of here. First of all, no heels. I had to do a lot of running today. Yeah, a lot of begging right. too. So look. Wow. It's not too wow. So what have we got in there? It's fine. A raspberry frosted donut and a chai glaze on the other. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Like it's not bad. That's, that's a good the texture. Dough. Aerated. Nice and crispy on the outside. Dry. They're salty. <laughs> They're seriously salty. Ah. Please tell me you didn't put salt in and place the sugar. That is a mistake. I did not purposely put more salt in there. I can tell you it tastes weird. Yes. It's like you've lost your heels, you've lost your mojo. You've peaked. You won the last dessert challenge. Mm -hmm. Is that you now on the descent? No, I did hit a large bump. I picked everything up and kept going, and yeah, I didn't give like up. You're Courtney sliding stocks down the aerial down. faster than you got up there. What a shame. What a shame. I'm sorry, Chef. What a shame. The actual donut, the dough itself, I think, is a little firm. Yeah, it's not cool. that light, fluffy kind of donut. The technique is just not what it needs to be. Oh, the technique as well. This topping. A raspberry and blood orange icing. How did you let the salt slip? It had to have happened when I was just rushing to get the second batch of dough. Mm. It's hard for me to love these donuts. It's hard for me to even like them. Oof. I'm sorry, Chef. Clearly, her Little Miss Perfect streak has been broken because her donuts taste like <laughs> You didn't, you didn't try them, relax. Jeez. Man, she's going with you on his drummer, didn't you? They're so salty. Ah. It's not that light, fluffy kind of donut. Hold up. It's hard donut. for me to love these donuts. It's hard for me to even like them. Next up, Leslie. Oh, uh, Bussin. He went even harder. What is in that box? Malibu sunshine. Malibu sunshine. Here we go again. Ooh! Wow. <laughs> o. M. G. These are wicked! That's what I call a box of donuts. <laughs> Visually, it looks stunning, let me tell you. But what do they taste like? The donuts themselves are just plain with orange liqueur and orange sugar on top. And these have blueberry with pistachio coconut, raspberry with macadamia nut and coconut. Wow. Yeah! They're perfectly shaped. Crisp on top. Good texture. Ooh. 
They're like a vintage, delicious donut. I mean... Oh. How do you make a donut that delicious without even having a filling in there? The topping is zesty, vibrant. I guess I'm good at winging it. <laughs> I don't know. Right now, everybody standing behind you has got something to learn about how you can perfect a bloody donut. Great job. Thank you yeah, very much. Management hard. Wow. Well done. Thank you. Good job, Leslie. Good job, Leslie. I'm finally yeah, at yeah, the top these of my crazy. game over donuts. Who would have thunk? I mean, just like really thunk? donuts. I have to pinch myself. The next box of donuts, Kira. Yeah. Who would have thunk? OK, Kira. Ready? Yeah, open up. Boom. Not too bad at all. I a little too dry. Four raspberry jelly donuts with dark chocolate, banana with milk chocolate and maple ganache, and then plain glaze with lemon zest. Very aesthetically pleasing, consistent. I'm gonna try the filled jelly donut. Okay. Well, I guess there's not too much filling in that donut. Where, where's the filling? I don't know. <laughs> Did you put Does filling it in there or not? Yeah, I squeezed it in. I don't know where it went. I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't like it. These are not filled at all. These are more like Kaiser rolls than donuts. Uh -uh. Damn. All right, the next home cook, Victoria. All right. Moment of truth. They're pretty uniform in shape. Really? And that looks like a donut that you'd be oh. able to go down and grab from pretty much any donut shop. Thank yeah. you. It's light. The this is, to me, it. one of the, the best that I've had in its simplicity. Thank you very Good much, job. Though, Chef. Thank you. Yeah, they look nice. Next up, Christine, please. Let's go. They look lame, but donuts are kind of like that, though. Visually uneven. We got slanted ones, some perfect-looking ones, and what are some those? ones that look like you've sat on them. What's inside? Chocolate, hazelnut, mascarpone <laughs> cream. The flavor's there. The dough's great. Those finishing touches I expect now to be a little bit more of a higher standard. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Next up, Daniel. So I'm looking at 12 incredible donuts. Let's hope so. Come on. What are those Cheerios, what did you go to motherfucker? Uh, I went to art school. You got. That's 16. 16 yeah. donuts? That is 16. Yeah. Look like big Cheerios. All right, I'm going to pick one. You, sir, are a beast with the sugar and yeast. <laughs> Very good. Thank Great you. Wow. Okay. Well, well done. Thank you, Chef. Smooth loop, Andy. Next up, Scottish Francis. Let's go. What's inside the box? 12 donuts, 12 flavors, Chef. Oh, no. This is going to fail miserably, right? Wow. Look Ooh. at the colors in there. I haven't even tasted them yet. I'm tripping out. <laughs> Which one should I eat? I would say the prosciutto with Guinness and maple syrup. Bloody amazing. It almost looks like a bagel with those toppings. Why prosciutto on a donut? I, I think the salt was a great That's contrast to the stout and the maple syrup. <laughs> no, you didn't say it works. Don't say it's it. It's delicious. Uh, <laughs> it is seriously good. It's crispy, it's sweet, uh, prosciutto, salty. I just want to eat more and more of it. Very unique, just like you. Long live Scotland. I'm going to say, 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 say Great job. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Can you need an insult? If, you, if you're going to put maple, at least put some, some bacon. Can you, can you need bacon? Okay. Yeah, Brad. For shoot a ham. It's great to finally be maple? recognized, Come you know? On. Especially coming from someone I idolize. I just wish he'd shoved another bite of everyone in his mouth. The next donuts we'd like to taste. Please step forward. Cutter. That's, it's ham. Not picking. All right, Cutter. Let's take a look. What are they? What are those? I made a chocolate peanut butter donut and a white chocolate and strawberry donut. It's small and uneven, and your chocolate glazing is broke. Oh, yeah. What's the filling? Uh, dark chocolate and peanut butter. Dark chocolate and peanut butter? All right, let's see. Oh, no filling. What happened? I don't know. I thought I had it all the way in there. I squeezed the bag. Is that like a, was that part of your imagination, the filling, or did it actually happen? No filling again. What? I mean, wow. I have no excuses. You certainly don't. 
I mean, especially for the fact that you come here and you tell me you're going to give me a filled donut. I don't even know what, what this is. Yeah, they're lying, right? When they say that, they were lying 100%. He did not have any filling in there. You wouldn't know. What's the filling? Dark chocolate and peanut butter. Like, he says, Dark I squeezed it in. There was no the hole. Let's see. There's oh, no hole. No filling. Was that part of your imagination, the filling, or did it actually happen? No filling again. I mean, wow. I have no excuses. You certainly don't. Yeah. The white one did. Right on. So, a bunch of technical errors. On the flavor, they're not, you know, they're not terrible, not the worst yeah, donuts. I thought peanut butter was pretty awesome. It sucks. Sorry. Yeah, it does suck. Desserts, man. I might be worried. I hear you. I am. Francis. Okay. Uh, tonight, there were some delicious donuts made oh. by some very talented home cooks. Unfortunately, there were some disasters that we never expected. Right now, we need a moment to discuss who's leaving shortly. Well done, Leslie. Congratulations. Well, I would have liked to have tasted yours. See, you have all the flavors I wish I could have. How good were Leslie's? Uh, Leslie's was incredible. Right. Amazing. They were Leslie the wins this by a long, by a mile. Come on. I love that he was able to pull them off. <laughs> The saltiness of Courtney's was terrible. Yeah, Kira, but the dough was way too yeah, thick. Yeah, it was very, very Her presentation thick. was good, like, though. Cutter had no filling in his, either. So. OK, up, here we go. All right, everyone. There were two standout boxes of donuts. The first home cook that Leslie we would like to congratulate Francis. took a big risk tonight. 12 donuts, 12 different flavors. Well done, Francis. Anyone who's playing it safe today, they should have gone home. That should be the rule. Anyone playing it safe, go home. The other box of donuts, which will be tonight's winning box, was 100% sunshine in a box. Leslie. Silver Fox. Leslie. Yeah. Good job, Leslie. Nice job, Leslie. Thank you. Congratulations. You are both safe from elimination, and you will both be team captains in the next challenge. Yeah. <laughs> And now for the bad news. There are three home cooks we'd like to bring down to the front. And one of those home cooks will be going home. The first home cook brought us donuts that looked much, much better than they tasted. Courtney, Please come down here, Courtney. Kira. Oh. The next home cook that failed tonight They've been down here before. Cutter. Cutter. Yeah, for sure. The third terrible box of donuts, underwhelming by a mile. Courtney. Clumsily put together. Bit of a surprise. Courtney. For sure. Kira, Cutter, and Courtney. Salted Courtney. Three disappointing. Boxes of donuts. One of you will be leaving Master Chef. Cutter, please step forward. You have wowed us inside this kitchen, but tonight you let yourself down. He's safe, safe. Big time. Yes, sir. There are two worst dishes, though. Cutter, please take your apron. Back to your station. And yourself back to the bench and get a grip. Yes, sir. I, I, I kind of got scared there. In any competition, you don't ever want to be in the bottom three. I've got to slow down and just be more focused for next time, because I'm here to win, and I'm here to take everybody down. Kira, we're struggling to see the passion. Tonight's donuts may have looked visually appealing. Can we see them? But honestly, there's nothing more frustrating than biting inside and just feeling 10 times more let down. I have passion. You haven't seen me do anything miraculous yet, but I have it. I can show you. Okay. Courtney, um, you, you shocked us on many occasions. I uh, delivered magic at times over the last couple of weeks. But then tonight's performance, not just lacklust, but one of the most stupid combinations with that level of salt in the dough, it just killed our palates. My whole future is at stake right now. This is about making a better life for myself. 
And I know I can do better than this. I just need a second chance. The person leaving MasterChef. Second. Tonight. It's Kira, guys. She's no content. I, I it was. Kira. Kira. Yeah, no shit. Oh. Say good night to Courtney. Please put your apron on your bench. Your time is done. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Why is she acting? Thank you. It was great. Thank you very much. She's not, she's not even eliminated. Like, stop acting, dude. I feel really sad because I thought there was so much more I can bring to the table, and um, I'm gonna miss it. But I'm very proud of myself. Salt is, is a loss Hi, because the presentation no matter matters a lot. I'm and still her gonna be on top good. of what I want to do. You know, I hope that people don't see the last of me. I hope it's only my beginning. Next time. No, no, no. Okay.